the money to you, laddies. Oh, that's not mine. Oh, shit. Okay, well. Hey, everybody. Doreen here, and welcome to another episode of Night in the Woods. Um, it is St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day. And today I have my little Lucky Charm shirt. Feeling lucky. That's what it says on there. And uh, I might buy something else for today. I might. I don't know. It depends on what I'm doing. But basically moral of the story is we're not doing like a theme st patty's day thing because i couldn't think of a theme st patty's day thing to do sadly but next year we will oh something crazy and extravagant because i'm gonna plan for it ahead of time i kind of honestly forgot st patty's day was coming up but look even may has something green in her room what if it was like st patty's day in the game how fucking trippy would that be that'd be a long shot but shark will wait <laughs> Oh, so cute. All right, what do we got here today? Hey, May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. I don't see, now we're building a friendship with Bay again. She's being all friendly and stuff. Hey, dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus said he's sorry too. Band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so off to work. Bye. He's so cute. I know I say that every time. I say that like every fucking time. I'm like, oh, he's so cute. But like he is. He's so fucking cute. He's my favorite. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs like you, but different, huge, and spooky. You make a weird noises at night. And clocks have those kinds of internal feelings yet or ever I don't know why I said yet like clocks are somehow gonna become sentient you're just like the same every day what is your bird existence like what do you burb burb we're all looking a bit bit older like, like the official version of us when we were younger hey hon yeah you can say hello why don't you Come say hello, why don't you? Watch out, watch out, Jack in the back. All right, what we got? Hey, hon, did you have a good time at the Harp Fest? Sure, you look tired. Harp Fest, H-A-R-F-E-S-T, it's a pun, that's good. You look tired. Yeah, I guess, I have a headache. You okay? No, I have a headache, I just said that. You wanna talk about school? Nope. Do you want to talk about work? Nope. Oh, are you waiting for anything in particular? No, nah, just we will talk about it. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, well that's good, I guess. Not like we wind you out of the house so we can totally bang. I'm gonna get going. Okay, have a nice day, sweetie. And you can't pretend, even if you don't want to think about it, that when y'all turn 18 and get out of the house, your parents aren't like, fuck yeah, bang fest time. Cause if I was, you know, a parent and I had kids and they just went to college, the, holy shit, how did I know to do that? Uh, the first thing I would think of is bang fest. So, <laughs> these are the lessons you get with Dorian. You watch Markiplier, you get deep life lessons. You watch Jack, you learn Irish slang. You watch Dory and you learn that your parents want to bang when you're not around. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, what's this? Arnold Applebaum owned the mining company like a thousand years ago. Dad said he was a crook who hated the unions. <laughs> but we did get a library. That got turned into apartments. A crook that hated the unions. Sounds like the villain in there. any, like, coming of... Uh, any like period piece, you know, like the 1920s movies where it's like Unions! We can't have no unions, you damn newsies! Alright. What we got here? No, we're not going on a little pickaxe. Oh, let's see what's going on here. We should have gone underground. War is some bullshit, you hear me statue? Some bullshit! Guess you were drafted. Huh. You died because you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. Oh, before you got to enjoy the statue. It's garbage! Alright, rebellious use. I'm gonna outrun the squirrel. Ugh. I am outrunning the squirrel. Fuck yeah, because I'm so 
fucking fast. All right, let's go feed our rats. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna feed our rats first because we haven't seen them in a while. We are the rat queen. All right, so let's see if we can steal one of these motherfuckers this time. I won't get caught. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, uh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 stop looking at me, taking your pretzel full. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you're almost there, yeah, ha uh ha, -huh. you were looking, but you didn't quite see me, did ya? Cause I'm a ninja. Cause I'm a ninja, you can't quite keep your eye on your one eye. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Whoa, ho. it's almost in my pocket. And there we go, go. Oh, it was at the last second, yeah. All right, there we go, we got it now. In my pocket. Also, like my crazy bed hair. It's quite crazy. All right, uh, so we gotta get back onto those clothes, that telephone line. That's, that's something we have to do. Let's get on that telephone line. Um, and then how do we get on the telephone line again? Was it through here, up here? We go up here? Yeah, we go up here and we jump on this. And then there, and then I don't quite remember where exactly. I think it's somewhere in this building. Yeah, that window. Right there, okay. Hey, hey, we're back. Shut up, oh. God, look at that fucking doge's face. All right, here we go. Feed our little rats, our little ratties. Hello, my children. Mama has some food for you. All right, okay. Uh, you just walk right in. All right. Hey there, rats. My little miracle rats. Oh, there's three of you now. Was there always three? I can't remember. Hey, who wants it? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh oh, you got a little little ratty in the in the uh, corner. He's a little straggler. Oh, there's more of you today. You need more food. Yes, you do. I'm just gonna like have a fucking like army of rats by the end of this damn game. Let's see what she says about Mallard this time. Oh, Mallard, probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce, forgotten. But I found you, and I know you're here. And I still and still a springtime terror. All right, Mallard the duck. Mallard the Mallard. I love how they named the duck thing, duck. You know, Mallard's just a type of duck. Okay, this load screen. This load screen, okay. Whoa, all right, it's, it's bright and rainy today. Okay, there's the old pickaxe. Can I ride on your car? No, that'd be cool. That'd be cool to do if we could do it. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Oh yeah. Video I'll post no. Oh no, they put a they put the thing on possibilities! Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. Miss your pizza place. You were my my life's joy. My young pizza place of 28 years. It was too young. It was too soon. Too soon! Yo, Greg, what up? My man. Step, dude. Ugh. Ugh. Long night. Weird night. What's up? I'll tell you a band practice. Oh, yeah, that guy got kidnapped yesterday. Cool. What you up to? We gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do it. So we got more band practice, huh? More of the band jam. Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? Hey, good. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out onto a roof. But now I can like, I don't know, run from that door behind, down the lobby. Up to the roof. And pee on the side of the building. Eh, yeah, maybe not. 
But let's just stop some random people from doing that. Dude, I'll be fine. Don't need to piss off the building. I'm sorry, I'm just tired. Fair, ready to go? Guys, do this shit. All right, pumpkin head guy, ready to jam out to this fucking awesome song here. Holy fuck, I can't play this. I wish I could read the text, but I'm so not good at this. Holy shit. He's coming up straight and shadow stretching from his feet. Out of my heart, it's beating faster. He's the pumpkin head king. What's behind that mask? Life comes and goes too fast for me to even ask. He's pumpkin head guy. This is hard. It's coming up the street. His shadow stretching from his feet into my fucking heart. He's the pumpkin head king. What's behind that mask? Life comes and goes too fast for me to even ask. He's the pumpkin head guy. I see him. You cannot. His eyes would. His eye. His evil eye burned the city. I cannot play this fucking bass. What the fucking shit? How do they expect me to be able to play this? Okay, focus. This was terrible. I did terrible. Oh, that was even hard. Wow, mate, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know the song. I do not play the fucking bass. You just handed me a bass and said, hey, play us some music. Fucking f fuck faces. So fast. You just pushed a button. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And it sounds so husky, guys. And anyways, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy who was, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid, and also I think that was my head after, and while I was sleeping, and anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Cause this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Is your kid, dude? No, I'm kind of freaking out, man. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh, fuck. Okay, fine, I'll go figure this out myself. Gosh. I do not be like that. You got us. That's his raspy voice, because he just heard it screaming. Aw, oh, dudes. Thanks, man. You make my heart weep tears of joy. Okay, fine. So I need to maybe see if there's like some ghosty stuff happening around here and stuff like from a source we can trust, such as, uh, does this new paper have like a ghost section? What? Why was that a dumb question? Why you look at me like I'm asking dumb questions? You know, we could go check the library for books about it. Nope. Ooh, apparently I'm tired. No, they have the local paper on file going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh, well, I didn't know they had that. Thanks, Bay, for being so knowledgeable about what we have in the library. I thought it was just like a bunch of broken down old bunch of books, bunch of junk. Well, that's the last time you were at the library. We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude paid for way back when, probably because of kidnapped ghosts and wanted to keep it a secret. Yeah, they set up a foundation and all this shit. Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Oh, ghosties. Can't tell if that's sarcastic or not. That's the spirit. Can't tell if she was being sarcastic or legit. You just can't tell with this one. 
look, jobs, weird. Like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window, we're all working, things are great. Now it's like uh, one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you, dude. I forget that we live in separate realities, May. Mine's clearly better, but unrealistic. Dead. Yeah, because you suck. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, that's the guy who cannot speak. Hey, man. Why, why is the library in the, in, the, in the train station? Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the mic microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Is this an actual library? Because it looks like the subway. This is the nice library. It has one bookshelf. It has a single bookshelf, and four of them are red. I don't know why that matters, but it does to me. Now we're on the second floor, and we want to go to the third floor. Because up we go. I'm sure we'll do something on the second floor later, so. Oh, no. Wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yeah ghost or something like a guy dressed up in a trench coat kidnapping people whatever he was he walked through a chain link fence or flew over it or something while carrying something all right well that's even more impressive so we're gonna find this guy because he took someone and he's like somehow connected to this thing i've been going through and that's not good and the plot thickens that all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Got me a little wet, but it's okay. All right, where's these micro fish? These micro fish. All right, there she is. Coolio, let's use her. Let's, let's get it going. So I have no idea how to use it. Really? Yeah, I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? I hit things very well, thank you. This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. This is like supernatural. May is uh, Dean. Bay is Sam. Let's go hunt things, Sammy. Ah, uh, wait. I just found this lore on the internet that I used my hair Wi-Fi to you to find it. Uh, my idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Uh, because you're my friend, you asshole. Now stop being a little bitch and feel bad about what you just said to me. Aw, so sweet. Ugh, okay. Aw, we friends be tweet. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumb ass is in charge. Not wrong there. Okay, so let's take a look at this newspaper. All right, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Good. I'm staring. Ow. Jeez, bang. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. D. Stanley T. D. Stanley T. Boss. Some statues officially open to the public. And we have to say we are smitten. Like a kitten? For two cents, one can enter Stanley and spend quite a lovely time. Never mind, not reading it after that statement. Underground gases afflict many. The house on Larch Street has been evacuated after the discovery of gas built up in the basement was found to have led to hallucinations and scattered members of the household. Isn't that where we were when we were working on the boiler? For the past several weeks, residents have been complaining of family members who began hearing voices or saying things they were not. One or a woman was found having an animated discussion with an empty chair. She calmly explained that she was taking her sister who had passed away some 50 years ago. That's some ghost stuff. Hmm, this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Uh, just about a woman talking to her dead sister from 50 years ago in an empty chair, but you know, not ghost stuff. <sighs> Strike is now in its 30th day with no end in sight. The buses have refused to meet with the miners saying their demands are too fantastical. The miners claim that they only asking the bosses to adhere to state standards that are already at law. No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost sounds like you don't believe me. Mm. 
Can I roll my eyes harder? Randolph Sanford, Odra, Bell, blah, blah, blah. It's partner with Samuel Colson. Over the Colson, go works. Coke works. <laughs> Daniel Glick, Railroad, Mandate, and Prominent, some shit. This is addition to improvement, some shit. There's been another sighting of the albino groundhog from a very reliable source this time. Edgar Sutter reports that he saw the pure white beast digging near shade. Gab, Mr. Sutter has declined to give any more of an exact location and involves hunters leaving a man to his business. Oh, excuse me. This one? No ghost. We ain't gonna find shit about a ghost. Local ghost! Little Joe at it again. Well, there we go. As school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs had at least one resident who wouldn't show up on this any census survey. Little Joe, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, <clears throat> is a favorite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in this old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local use, and such Possum Spring City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstone that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers, you may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine or trespassing. There we go. Ding, ding. Oh, look! Scooch! I can see this. Graveyard. That's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they'll make a lot of them. There, they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool! That's where his grave is! I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history? Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. You go, May, thinking of something witty. Stanley T. Possum statue, also known as Posse, is finally slated for a demolition. Posse closed in 1967 by Richard Coulson. Don't give a shit. Nothing. Die, piracy. Dear said the sweet smoke to keep your pies safe during the pleasant weather. We are expecting several ladies that report pies from the kitchen disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, they, the picky culprit is leaving behind the only the rhubarb. <laughs> Until this criminal is caught or the bad weather returns, we mind our housewives to make use of their pie safes indoors or stick to rhubarb. Pie safe? Possum massacre. Well, shit, okay. Several violence broke out the Stanford mine strike today. The bosses arrived, attempted to renew talks, and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown at the National Guard, and strike breakers opened fire on the crowd. Jesus fucking Christ, that's brutal. After a few minutes of smoke clear and the gore scene, gory scene revealed, nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivered a package of food to their father and uncle who were on strike below. What the shit? This photograph of the two children, seven and nine, who were shot in the bloody uh, blood and cold blood has circulated far outside of our little country. The heinous act led to a personal visit from governor to the strike site to meet with the strikers. Independent inspectors were also brought in and talks finally began. I mean, that's no ghost here. It's just about their death, but whatever. Oh, wow, this is really awesome. Ha 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 ha. Oh my God. Yeah, that's way too weird. Nope, oh, there we go. So, the Pasta Springs Historical Society's conversion of the Shriekgeist House into its new headquarters and educational center has had a snag, custodial head, blah, blah, blah. I'll be there after hours doing my work and I'll hear someone walk around trying doorknobs. I came to see who it was fooling, but there was never nobody there. Trying to get this map room or uh, operational for the children. All the while, I'm looking over my shoulder, expecting to see God knows what. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted. Historical society. History that won't stay history. In a history place. History place. Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this is when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, 
It's actually a pretty cool house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house? Uh, no, elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. How do I leave? Apparently I don't yet. <laughs> Refrain from spinning on the sidewalk. There we go. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook. As possum jumped according to the lovebirds, approximately 11.45 a.m. A figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff into open air and then disappeared. Hmm, yeah. Looks like possum jump. Let me read it. It's possum jump. Oh yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yep. Ever been up there? <clears throat> nope. Gonna check it out though. Go nuts. That's actually probably only a mile too so from Mr. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills, all kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements or corpse husbands. Cos co-signed. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Um, uh, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Three clues, we got three leads. Fuck out. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. All right, all right, let's go. Oh. So we got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into the society. Moocher. Okay, well I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyways. That's kind of weird, but okay. Okay, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's gonna happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear of that history repeats? It does, it does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves. Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking God. Let's go, let's walk out of here, let's go to the floor. Going out the library, look at that angry guy. Ahem. What is he doing here? Shh. Is that Miss, Miss Quelchy? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Possum Springs Poet tree society oh captain my captain do you want to stick around for this yeah let's see what happens tonight we have a new poems for myself there's only one member and fisherman jones i will start us off with one of my own they don't actually pay her in string right yes may they literally pay her in string i was just joking right <clears throat> Letter to my worst student. To my worst student, the subject of my stories. I tell friend, friends back home when they ask about life. Out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you'll be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Low key throwing some shade right there. Thanks everyone. Is that legal? What? Talking about details about students like that? She didn't name names. Yes, she did. She said Brian. Oh. Okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has poems for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems taken away, Fisherman Jones. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime, but neither do you know paths I've trudged, so hardly it is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. See a theme here. Tunnel frogs swim in the dark. Must think it would be 
a lark. Do be a fisherman like me, but what do you know, amphibi? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. That's all for tonight, everyone. See you in two weeks. All are welcome to join us at Donut Wolf. Donut Wolf? We're going home, eh? We're not going to Donut Wolf. Aww. Oh, I had Donut Wolves! The fuck? Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Find out anything about the ghost yet? Yep. Tell him, bae. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe! Uh, I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of ghosts. Like, filled with dread and shit. I'm terrified! Okay. So I mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can like split this up, share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard, I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is, the Historical Society. You know you don't have to like break in. The people there like get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the Historical Society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. Oh, -ho, I know Possum Jump quite well. We used to go there in the scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to actually like get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. Also, I'm scared to death. So, you know, coolio, motherfuckers. Hey, Dad, what's up? Let me talk to you, Dad. You need to move those boxes, Dad. Feeling kind of beat tonight. Aw, oh, poor man. Anything I can do, you can move those fucking boxes. No? I don't know. Well, if you figure it out, let me know. Thanks, Dad. You can move the fucking boxes. I might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Fine. You know, you said you was gonna move the boxes the other night, but apparently that was a lie. And he's not actually gonna do it. Okay, what do we got here? Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. Oh no, thanks, Bay. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're running this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also for, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep, had fun tonight. Sorry if it was grouchy, it's just ta ta. All right, what did you, wait, did you fall asleep? Okay, let's just, let's just talk to Angus now. I still don't know a voice for him. Hey, man. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's pretty straight shot up to Possum Springs. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out anyways. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Dips his hat. So I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's really old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just gets torn up seems like ghost central. How so? Your ghost is hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where he died or something. Haunted pools would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. All right. Well, I guess it's time for us to go to bed, too. So, with that said, everybody, thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, have a great St. Patty's Day. Don't drink too hard. Don't drink and drive. Don't do anything stupid, but you probably will anyways. I know you guys, you kiddos. I'm just kidding. Um, again, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll catch you all. Other than that, I'll catch you all in my next video. Later.